staying with the Swamp Rabbit thing, we've got Dr. Parks Alexander with us today. He is the dentist and owner of Swamp Rabbit Dental. How's it going? How are you? I am fantastic. Before we get into some amazing ways the dentist world has changed, we're like our kids have it so much easier right. than we had it, you know, growing up <laughs> because of all the advances. But tell me a little bit about yourself, Doc. How long have you been doing this? Well, I've been practicing in the Greenville area for about 18 years. Okay. And so I've just recently opened uh, a new practice in Greenville on Lawrence Road, Swamp Rabbit Dental. And we've been open for just a little bit over a year now. A year anniversary. You're real yes. close to a Willy Taco and you know that Sphinx right there. So if you know where that is. And you're also, which I think is genius, the official dentist for the Swamp Rabbit hockey team. That's right. Yeah. So they probably keep you busy when, when they have, yeah, you know, they when do. they're in season, <laughs> always doing something. Well, let's talk a little bit about how it's changed over the years because it doesn't matter how awesome the dentists are, you know, they have like, you know, you used to be scared kind of going or sure. nervous because things were a little bit different, but you're like, that's not the case anymore. Well, it's gotten a lot better. It's gotten a lot better. The, the uh, advancements in technology of dentistry has really helped things out so we can make things much more comfortable yeah. and, uh, and, and much more convenient for the patient and get much better outcomes with a lot of procedures. One of the things that was amazing, like we were talking about, remember, I feel like for anything you had to do back in the day, like the impressions, right. you'd have to put that goop in your mouth and you would try to act like you weren't going to gag at any sure. <laughs> at any moment. And, and then you'd have to stay super still. And often still. you would gag. Yes, and then you'd right. be all embarrassed and then you're trying to like pry it out. Now you're doing things on printers. Right, yes. So I have a, uh, a video camera, essentially, that takes the, a video of the inside of your mouth. And, uh, and it takes a, a three-dimensional uh, computer-generated uh, impression of your mouth that I can do just about anything with. I can make bleaching trays and night guard. Ooh. We can do orthodontics. Um, uh, um, just about anything, even partials we can, yeah. we can make now. And I have an example of this. I have, th these are my teeth. That of course, they're perfect looking, right? right, right? Sure. Uh -huh. Nice and white, of course. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, this was 3D printed, and I, I made this uh, just myself with no assistance with a video camera of that's the inside amazing. of my mouth there. So, See, so you, you don't have to worry about that. Now, what about, like, you know, the implants and stuff? I hear a lot of people, you know, that has in the past has been sure. kind of a long and, you know, possibly painful experience. Sure, yeah. Um, so, and, and that's, that's how... Um, dentistry can be much more predictable with things like imp implants. Yeah. Um, you know, in the past, uh, you know, an implant uh, would have to be placed by hand and using uh, two-dimensional x-rays and things yeah. like that, which don't, don't give nearly as much information. So the inf incision would have to be much larger so, so you could visualize the field. Well, today, I can take a CT scan, a, a dental-specific CT scan that shows me three dimensions of the bone. and uh, and I can uh, take a video of the inside of your mouth where, the, where a tooth may be missing, yeah. and I can do what we call a crown down approach, which is where we design the crown uh, virtually on the computer screen, where we want it to be, the tooth, and then overlay that to the CT scan, and then virtually place an implant right where we need it to be in the bone, where it comes right out from you know, an, an ideal area for yeah. the restoration to be in the future. And then I can capture that in a surgical guide. I can generate a surgical guide, which is 3D printed in my office. So this is an example of a tooth that, that would be missing. Right. And I've taken the video of that. And then I can place a tooth there in the ideal position. So I've printed another model where I show that I've replaced that tooth. And then I can generate a surgical guide, which is basically a retainer that you put in the day of surgery and it has a pilot hole in it right. and I can place the implant and 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 uh, you know prepare for the implant and place the implant right through this guide so it places that implant exactly where I planned it to be so here here's that missing tooth and this would fit that's so right here and I just go right through right through that pilot hole and as a patient or a future patient you should care about this because they're not having to do that like in your mouth the guesswork they're doing that you know at the computer so when you're in the right. chair it's all, boom 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 all the guesswork all the preparation is done on the computer before way before the procedure um, and it just makes the procedure uh, 
faster, less traumatic. The incision is much uh, is not ne nearly as big, yeah. and it's much more precise. I mean, it's and and the final result of the the crown and the way it looks and the way it fits is is you know it's just it's dead on every time. That is absolutely amazing. Are you accepting new patients right now? Absolutely. Okay, and you do everything from cleanings to crowns to implants we, we to do same day uh, crowns with the same technology we take a video no goopy impressions yes and i'm and and i have the uh, cad technology to make the crown while you wait so no no temporary to wear for three weeks while the crown is being made look at that this is when digital and technology were like yay it really comes in hand it was so nice to meet you swamp rabbit